Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to create and manage state files in Terraform. But we are going to learn too how to migrate objects between different state files. The primary goal of this video is not just about moving data from one state file to another, but also about exploring ways of using a state file. Let's start. Terraform state files, or configuration in general, are the place where all the information is stored about the resources that we have been created. This means that when we create a component, for example, a service account in Google Cloud Project, Terraform will connect to it a state database and add an entry. When we set up our environment, we first are going to define where it is our state file located. And in our case, we're going to choose a GCP bucket. With a code like the one that you can see on the screen, we will tell to Terraform that there will be a bucket called NKDEV bucket and a folder inside called Terraform bucket where our state file is located. If we execute Terraform in it, we are going to create our state file. So now our Terraform state is in place but empty. We need a simple code to create an object. For example, as we said before, a service account. As you can see on the screen, we have a resource, Google service account, that is going to create in the project NKDEV dev, a service account, test account with a display name. Now, if we execute Terraform apply, we're going to create an object that will be a service account. If we execute Terraform state list, we can see that this object has been created. And even if we go to the bucket and we download the state file, we can see that the code is there, similar but not the same as if we execute Terraform state so and the object name. So now, how we can migrate this object from one state file to another? The first thing that we need to know is that an object in a state file is only the representation of the service account in this case. And if we remove the object in the state file, we are not going to remove the service account in Google Cloud. To do the migration, we had two ways. And I said had, because now we only have one way. We can remove and import or before we had move to. But since options to do that in Terraform move has been deprecated, we only have one option. So now we only have the Terraform RM and Terraform import. Something that we are going to need to have is the Terraform code in the source and in the destination. In our lab, we have two folders with the same Terraform code and everyone set it up with a different state file in the bucket that we presented before. If we do, for example, Terraform state RM and the name of the object, now the object has been removed from the initial state folder, but the service account is still in GCP. If we go to the second folder and after we initialize and we execute Terraform import the object name and then the ID of the object, that in this case is the service account, we will import this object. The service account is still in place, but the object in Terraform will be now in the second state folder. If we want to move back to the first Terraform state file, we need to execute again Terraform RM and Terraform import. As we have seen, the service account never has been removed and always has been located in the same project, but we have been able to reference the object in two different places. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember that in NKDEV, we are here to help companies with audits, workshops, and many, many other themes. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And see you next time.